Unpaved Explorer. Unpaved Explorer is a channel dedicated to sharing John's outdoor activities and the gear that makes it a little more convenient for those outdoor activities. Unpaved Explorer recently celebrated the 500th subscriber with a fun giveaway. Congratulations on the big 500! And I see Unpaved Explorer is almost at 6 at the time of this recording. Unpaved Explorer shows us some really neat hiking, camping, and everyday carry for y'all with the gigantic backpacks in your trunks. <laughs> you know who you are. Unpaved Explorer loves to be outdoors because that's where the magic happens for John. In fact, pretty much every video we see on Unpaved Explorer is outside. And why not? We're certainly not going to see a group of munching white-tailed deer in a quiet corner of a coffee shop. Well, maybe you would. I don't know. I haven't been to a coffee shop in years. <laughs> but Unpaved Explorer wants to take us into the forests and the caves and even the parks to learn how to use some of that gear we're stocking up on and for some great hiking and walking trails. You can really lose yourself out in nature and as John has shown us a few times, you can lose your stuff also. And what about grabbing a bite outdoors? Unpaved Explorer also searches for wild edibles and does some great bass, trout, and walleye catch and cooks. Now why John eats skunks and eggs, I don't know, but if McGee can do it. <laughs> anyway, Unpaved Explorer has something for nearly everyone. He even does shout outs and bee festivals. Did John really volunteer to be dunked into a vat of honey at the bee festival? Shh, no spoilers. <laughs> Unpaved Explorer also does a lot of unboxings and reviews, like this headlamp. You know, John, I can think of a couple other ways to test if my light is waterproof. <laughs> I don't need the neighbor to hose me down with the light on. That is so funny. But it was a very thorough review. He does not miss one detail. Like with this pet shelter donation, Unpaved Explorer thought of everything. You might need to get something bigger to carry that to the pet shelter, John. Yeah, something like that. If you're into hiking, the fishing, the foraging for wild edibles, like you're on an episode of Naked and Afraid, yeah. Unpaved Explorer may be the channel for you. Arkansas Jeff. Arkansas Jeff is all about mud. Truck, ATV, Victoria's Secret Southern Edition. Arkansas Jeff and the Arkansas Mud Kings like it soft, brown, and warm. They sell and feature all types of off-road and ATV and other mud dauber equipment. And Arkansas Jeff shows a lot of it on the channel. Arkansas Jeff takes us into some of the most beautiful woods and meadows and then pretty much destroys them with the rumbles of the wheels, <laughs> the off-road recreational vehicles, and the mud. I know what you're thinking. You've seen one muddy off-road vehicle. You've seen them all. There's nothing remotely interesting about mud. You know how some people watch hockey for the fights and they watch NASCAR for the crashes? Arkansas Jeff is full of fun videos of these really cool all-wheel, four-wheel, three-wheel vehicles. And they're made to go off-roading. And they're, like, getting stuck. And they're sinking. And the riders are falling off. And when they're riding with horses through the mud, you know some of that being thrown in their face is not mud. <laughs> okay, okay. They're not those kind of horses. Okay. And then there are the giveaways and the collaboration. Arkansas Jeff is all about making a small world out of YouTube land. His motto is, YouTube is about connection, not competition. He says as he goes for the muddiest rider trophy of Arkansas or whatever it's called. They do all kinds of mud-bogged competition racing. He also does a little camping and fishing. But it's only because it's not time to ride, right? Want to get dirty with Arkansas Jeff? Hit that bell. O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead is up to their necks in critters on their down under estate. Old, old Donald had a farm. 
and he's got a roving gang of guinea fowl that push everybody around with two legs and feathers. Well, except for the turkey. I noticed they leave the turkey alone. <laughs> you should check out the quail and pigeon wars. Man, those videos teach us what perseverance on a homestead looks like. But not everyone is battling it out on O'Donnell's Aussie homestead. He has a goose and a cow that are practically married. <laughs> hey, why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. O'Donnell's Aussie homestead took care of that and he got his cow something that honks for her. <laughs> Okay, that was terrible. Terribly funny. <laughs> but really, they're quite a pair. Check out those videos. Now, what else? No, not that. What other critters are there, you ask? Well, there used to be goats. Used to be. There are some awesome videos explaining why the goats had to skedaddle. Now, the pig's probably happy about that. He also has some very vicious and menacing dogs. I mean, very vicious. While we're discussing farm animals, you should check out the videos in his How Much Does It Cost to Raise a series. He gives detailed information based upon his own experiences, and he likes to exchange tips and suggestions in the comments. He also shows us all sorts of videos on the different aspects of homestead maintenance and expansion. He's been creating a teeny tiny little pond on his property, and yeah, that's a very time-consuming project. There's also the gardening videos, and if you haven't seen any of his uploads, O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead has a video about the rats that are eating more from his harvest than he is. Now, they're about growing some food there, even though right now they're in winter, so you're not going to see a whole lot of growing You'll see a lot more homestead stuff with the animals and the repairs and all that stuff. So, check out O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. Outdoor exploring walks and gear. Muddy 4x4 competition and collaboration. Down under homesteading and crazy huge biceps. Are these your people? <laughs>